I tell Seattle. <laughs> hey Seattle, you know I'd be an ice eater. Six, we'll start the ice cream. Okay, I'll tell you. And when, when we were all sleeping, it was a ghost. Hi, I'm Susan with Growing Character. Those tattletales are really cute, but the reality of it is, children who are constantly telling on each other drain the joy out of parenting. And not to mention, they create antagonistic relationships amongst each other. You are such a tattletale! <laughs> but not a snitch! The truth is, tattling is common among young children. Everywhere they go, they're expected to follow specific rules. So it makes sense when they watch out for other kids carefully and make sure that they're following the rules and then report on them when they're broken. It's their way of attempting to understand boundaries and limits. So how are we supposed to respond as parents? Here are four quick ways to deal with tattletales while building better relationships among siblings. Number one, understand the tattler's motive. It's important to unearth the real reason behind your child's tattletaling so that you know how to address it. Did your angel tell you out of genuine concern for their sibling? Or are they trying to make themselves look good or get attention from parents? They could be seeking justice because they're literal thinkers and they take rule following very seriously. Maybe they're just trying to get their sibling in trouble out of frustration or revenge. Number two, teach the child the difference between telling and tattling. At around age five or six, explain to your child the difference between telling and tattling. Telling an adult is important if someone is getting hurt or something's getting broken. Tattling, on the other hand, is to get the other person in trouble. Give them a concrete example of what may be considered tattling versus telling so they know the difference. Number three, don't get sucked in. Help them problem solve. Tattling seems to be an intermediate step for kids when they have enough self-control not to hit the other kid, but not enough to really solve problems on their own. When your kid comes to tattle on their sibling, they're trying to get you on their side. Don't get sucked in. Try asking, that sounds hard. Do you need a hug? Have you tried to handle the situation on your own? Is someone getting hurt? Or I'll take care of that. You don't need to worry about it. Instead of letting the tattler put you in a position where you have to referee the interaction between the siblings, take the role of a coach instead. Coach your child to encourage his sister rather than running to mommy to mediate everything. There's three exceptions. The child should come straight to you as a parent if, number one, the sibling isn't listening to the encouragement, number two, he's endangering himself or others, or number three, she's destroying property. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Number four, teach the tattler to practice better strategies. If you're going to want your child's natural reaction to sibling conflict to be encouragement, it's going to take a lot of practice. Lead both children back to the scene of the crime and have them reenact the situation. Require the tattler to encourage his sibling to do what's right and require the sibling to heed the encouragement and say thank you to his sister. The good news is that most kids outgrow their tattletale behavior as they learn to work through conflict and cope with frustration. Hang in there, parents, and don't forget, don't get sucked in. For more videos on sibling conflict, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and see you next time.